like Hawkeye. Yeah. Alan, what's next on your agenda? Uh, I oh, uh, I think now it's interesting. I think of a line that uh, Larry Gelbart uh, wrote about that when uh, I was being interviewed. And the interviewer said, uh, "This is in the interview show." The interviewer said, "What are you going to do when the war is over?" And I said. I'm going to go home and I'm going to sleep for six months. And then I'm going to go to Europe and sleep there for a year. <laughs> and uh, I do want to sleep. You know, it's interesting about sleep. The tension was so high for all of us when we said that I think a dozen people came up to me today and they all told me that they woke up last night at about 2 o'clock or 2.30 in the morning and were awake since then. And they heard that they said they heard from uh, almost everybody else on the set that they had had the same. And I, I'm, I, I was up since 2:30. But none of us, most of us, were, were unable to sleep. But, but that's just this, this week. We really haven't slept much in 11 years because we, Larry used to stay up all night writing uh, scripts the night before we began shooting. And I've done it a number of times. You gonna write a book? You gonna write a book? No plans? No, no. I wasn't gonna rest. And, and the have to write the next screenplay. What kind of creative mark has the show left on you? For me, well, it's changed my life. It's given me the chance to develop as a writer and a director and as an actor. And uh, 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 I've, uh, I've learned to, to work with people in close in a way, in a creative way that I, I really never knew before and didn't know was possible. We've all learned that. We've all we've all grown. We've all grown as people and as professionals, as artists. And we're, we're really grateful for that. What is this show's legacy? What is it leaving the American public after 11 seasons? 250 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you going to miss this? Pardon? How much are you going to miss the show? The routine, even though you want to sleep. How much would you miss your arm? We we uh, we're stopping because we feel. We feel that if we went further, we would risk squeezing it dry, not being able to give it our best, not being able to, to keep up the, the level of quality, which generally has been high enough to make us proud, very proud of it. And, and we don't want to stop after we've reached the point of, of, of not doing our best. Uh, but we're going to miss it terribly. This, People all week have been asking me how I felt, and people have often said, people in your profession have said, well, what's the one emotion you're feeling? And it's very difficult to answer that question. Because like MASH itself, I don't just have one emotion. They're mixed. I'm, like MASH itself, I'm sad and happy. I'm very, very sad to be leaving my, my, my intimate friends and my colleagues and my collaborators, you, you, you almost never get a combination like that. You collaborate with people, but they're usually not your intimate friends as well. Uh, we're all going to miss each other enormously, but I'm very happy because I'm, I'm so proud of what we've done. We've really accomplished something. Not every show is a gem. You, you, can't, you can't be perfect. You know, nobody's perfect. But we, we have... We have such a high average of, of good shows that, and the response we've gotten from people, I, we've all gotten very heartfelt letters from people, that, which I think is probably, in many ways, um, the reward we feel the most keenly. 